What's up Transformers fans? This is David ESJ coming back at you for another Transformers uh, review. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing Transformers War for Cybertron Deluxe Class Bumblebee. As you can see, Bumblebee is in his Cybertronian um, carrier mode, I think that's what they call it in the box. I threw the box away, so sorry about that guys. Um, yeah, so here is War for Cybertron Bumblebee. I did uh, paint his rims red they were clear I mean they were cool when they were clear but I just prefer them painted so yeah that was already painted and I really like the lines on the winch windows to make it because in the game it glows so that's really cool As you can see like one right there all that stuff um so yeah so we're going to be as you could see I'm um, sorry we're, as you can see we're gonna like if you see like junk all over him like the only part that I have to say that's really really a difficult time to transform it is his, probably his foot which is annoying which I don't really like so yeah alright guys so to transform him first you want to do is bring these down and if you hear talking I'm very sorry because that I have family so yeah uh, yeah his gun falls off I forgot about that uh, he could just pop out his gun when you transform him so yeah so you're just going to bring this down and um, you're going to separate slide it down and then you bring this gold piece slide that in peg that in like so same thing here slide it down bring this down like so and then you just peg this in and that's his feet so yeah long feet anyways you bring this peg that like so you're gonna bring this, uh, sorry if you couldn't see that, bring that, fold that down, and you're just gonna fold that down, and then you're gonna bring this piece and rotate his hand, bring this piece and just slide it on, or put on, just like rest it on the top of his arm. And last thing, you're just gonna bring this, and there's his head. So there you have War for Cybertron Bumblebee in his robot mode. Now, I really love this figure. I, uh, this figure is probably... The only problem I have with him is he's bigger. Um, I wish I could show you the comparison with War for Cybertron Optimus, but unfortunately, he's in his vehicle mode. So, I'm going to review him, and when I get a comparison with him, I'll put Bumblebee so you can see the size. So, yeah. Uh, fortunately, I only have one Decepticon in his robot form, so here he is next to Shockwave, Fall Cybertron Shockwave, and I really, and I'm glad that they're gonna make more Fall Cybertron toys. I'm, I can't, w I can't wait to get a uh, kickback. Um, Starscream is more I'm really happy for. Uh, Voyager Soundwave, I don't have the deluxe Soundwave for the War for Cybertron, and um, who else? And uh, Bruticus. So yeah. So yeah, there you have a comparison with him. Now, for articulation, his head's on a ball joint, can go all the way around, can look up and down because of transformation. Um, his arm can go all the way around, but this thing blocks, like it hits it. He can go like that because of transformation. Bends at the elbow, really lot, he, he can do it a lot. Uh, I think he can, ro yeah, rotates at the bicep wrist articulation but it, I prefer just leaving it like that and, and I don't like that because his hands like this and it's really annoying but I don't know why it's annoying but yeah um, so, uh, again guys if you hear talking I'm very sorry um, I'm trying to talk as loud as I can so you don't hear them but okay um, his feet can go like that just but that's for transformation can bend at the, bend at the knee can go like that can go back and doing kick posing and stuff and he has another joint which looks really weird but that's for transformation and yeah as you can see I did customize his uh, face I gave him some black outlining on his face so if I could focus there you go as you can see I added some pink or some um, reddish pink on his cheek like he had in the game and some black outlines to bring out the details and I did add some of that too it was just all black I added I added the pink lining at, like in the game and that's pretty much it oh and right here too 
this was uh, all black so I just painted the lights right here and then yeah and I did uh, same thing on the side of the uh, leg I did give him some black details to bring out the details so yeah uh, and he does have a swivel on his leg so I forgot about that I think anyways back to Bumblebee he can uh here's his rifle I did customized it to make it look battle damaged on his gun which does look really cool and it looks like it's charging up so I just put that and you can just fit it in his hand in each in each hand so you can do it in each hand if I can get it in his hand there you go and he can like make some uh, decent cool poses of him shooting at you so yeah very nice he also uh he also has a trans clearance uh, blade well, on the side of his arm and I accidentally pulled that out so yeah it's on a ratchet clickly clickly joint so yeah and it's really transparent, and you can see it and it looks really really nice I have to say so you can make some decent poses with this guy so I really like him so um so I think that's all for now for Bumblebee so please comment rate subscribe and I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching later guys